Hello everyone, you are welcome to Mathematics Pro. In this video, I will discuss prime factorization. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, please kindly subscribe to my channel and share the link with your friends. Prime factorization, it involves uh, two things here. Prime, a prime number. And factors of a number. So, we can say that prime uh, factors of any given number are the factors of that given number that are prime numbers. Take for instance now, if you want to get the prime factors of 12, okay, that means you need to write out the factors of 12 and they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So these are the factors of 12. So to get the prime factors of 12, then you have to pick the um, factors that are prime numbers. So this is not a prime number. 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 That means the prime factors of 12 are 2 and 3. So if you are asked to write a number as a product of its prime factors okay so that means the product should only contain um, factors of uh, the given number that are prime numbers that is it now let's say we want to write 12 as um, a product of its prime uh, factors okay so that means uh, we need to break down 12 in such a way that the only numbers that will appear will be the factors of 12 that are prime numbers so let's uh, split this one uh, into two it will be we can use 1 times 12 simply because 1 is not a prime number though it is one of the factors of 12 so but for the fact that it is not a prime number so we'll leave it so we have 2 times 6 that will be 12 so i'll write this so this is uh one of my answers because it is a factor of 12 and it's a prime number so that means i need to split six again so into two times three so two is a prime number three is a prime number that means if i want to write 12 as a product of its prime factors then it will be two by two by three Okay, so which I can write in index form to be, this is 2 to the power of 2, that is index form, multiplication of indices, then by 3. So, in the normal form, it is like this, and in an index form, it is like this. So, let's look into two examples. Write 234 as a product of its prime factors, okay? So, what we need to do is to split 234 so um of course let's see how we can split this you can take your calculator and uh, press 234 divided by 2 so that will give you 117 that means you have 2 and 117 so what you need to do is to pick your calculator and divide 117 by either 2 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 11 or 13 okay it must be a prime number so you cannot use four okay as that will give you uh, a composite number or any other uh, number it could be so uh, pick your calculator and try any one of these and see uh, the one that will give you a whole number of course uh, three will go because from the rule of divisibility a number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So 1 add 1 to 2 add 7, 9. 9 is divisible by 3. That means 117 is divisible by 3. So I'm going to say 117 divided by 3. Okay, that will give me 39. I have 3 and 39. So this is my answer here. So here, I need to uh, make use of um, 39. Okay, again, I have to break 39 into 2. So, of course, 3 add 9 is 12. Okay, 12 um, 
is divisible by 3. So that means 39 is divisible by 3. I can say 3 and what again? 3 and 13. Okay, so that is what I'm going to have. Okay. So here, uh, this is a prime number. This is a prime number. So that means um, 234 as a product of its prime factors will be this times this times this times this. So this is uh, in ordinary form. So if I want to write it in index form, it will be 2 times 3 to the power of 2 then by 13 so this will be uh, my answer here okay so um something i made mention of something i said you cannot use a uh, four here okay although you could still make use of four or any other even uh, number but you need to break it into two take for instance now let's say you want to get all the uh, fact uh, you want to write 24 as a product of it uh, prime factors okay so you can do like this so let me clean uh, let me get the space here so you can take um 24 and split it into four times six so uh, what you need to do is to break four into two again okay so that will be uh two times two you have it now then you need to break six into two by three okay so that means uh, 24 as a product of its prime factors will be 2 by 2 by uh, 2 by 3. So you can make use of any product and then in as much you still break them to prime numbers. It is possible. So you can use 4, you can use 6, you can use any uh, number. Okay. So in the long run, we'll continue to break them until you have only prime numbers. Sorry, I have to correct that because it's possible too. Okay. So uh, example 2 here. Yeah. Write 2016 as a product of um, prime numbers. Okay, so if you don't know any product that will give you 2016, you can always start with uh, 2. You can take your calculator 2016 divided by 2, so that will give you uh, 1008. You have 2, then 1008. Okay. So this is one of my answers so you can continue to break this okay you can try 1008 okay by 2 again and if you want to speed it up you can divide by 4 okay it's possible and if you want to speed it up again okay you can divide by 8 okay to check if it is possible so that it will not waste your time it's possible if you divide it by 8 you get 126 that means it's possible so let me try and divide by 16 if it is possible okay if you divide by 16 i have 63 so that means i can say 1008 is the same thing as um 63 times 16 okay so why did i do this because if i continue to divide by 2 it will take a long time okay so that's why i have to check is it divisible by 4 yes i tried 8 i tried 16 okay so, and this one, uh, I have to break uh, 63 and 16 again. So, I know that 63 is the same thing as 7 times 9. Okay. That's 63. Okay. So, this is one of my answers as it's a prime number. So, I have to split 9 again. It will be 3 by 3. So, this is part of my answer. This is part of my answer. So, I'm done with 63. Now, let's go to 16. So, I can break it into 2 into 8. This is also part of my answer. Then I can break 8 into uh, 2 into 4. This is part of my answer. Then finally, I can break 4 into 2 into 2. So this and this are part of my answer. So that means 216 as the product of prime factors will be uh, these two here. 2 multiplied by these two here. Then multiplied by these two here multiplied by these two here multiplied by these two here so we are done with the twos then let's go to three so this and this so by three by three 
and the last one here is by 7 so by 7 so to write it in India sum you have 1 2 3 4 5 that is 2 to the power of 5 times you have 1 2 3 to the power of 2 times 7 so you have 2 to the power of 5 2 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 2 times 7 so that will be uh, the product of prime factors of 216 so this will be the end of this video if you are seeing this video for the first time please kindly subscribe to the channel and support my mission and in the next video we'll look into powers and roots mm -hmm.